Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together. Today we are talking about the Evan Moore Pre-K Math Workbook. In this workbook, you're gonna cover things like counting and numbers and adding and subtracting and comparing and basic shapes and geometry. You get 10 units and about 150 pages, all for about $10. Your, each unit is gonna cover things like numbers and operations, algebra and geometry, measurement, and you're even gonna get a little bit of an evaluation at the end of that. I love this workbook for those three, four, five-year-olds who are just getting into math skills before they get into a heavy curriculum. This book gets our recommendation. So let's go ahead and hop right into our first lesson. So let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of this workbook. So as you can see here laid out, we have the units as we just talked about. And in each one of these units, they have different themes. You can see monkeys and cookies and funny frogs, a ton of things to entertain that, that young learner to keep it very vibrant. And what you'll notice about here in the Evan Moore books, and which is true about almost every one of their books, is they're, they're from one thing to the next to the next. It's just absolutely engaging, absolutely fun, and nothing repeats itself. That's what's something I love. And so you can see here is what you're gonna be learning. As we said, the numbers and operations, the algebra, geometry, measurement, and that pattern re re repeats through each and every single one of those lessons. So let's get into one. My daughter loves ladybugs, so let's go ahead and straight into the ladybugs. So basically you can see here with the coloring, and I don't know if we can get that over the top, but you can see each unit is different color coded. So here we are in the ladybug section and it is in the blue color coding. And so very simple, this one is talking about the number seven and we have seven ladybugs here and she had to write seven. You can see the wonderful four-year-old handwriting there and some of the additional drawings on the side. These are the types of things that you can do in this book that are really fun. My daughter loves the color. So every time we touch a page that doesn't have something colored, man, that thing needs to get colored and we have the markers to, to prove it. Um, so as you're moving through, you're, co you're connecting ladybugs, like for example here, you have ladybugs with numbers on top of them and you have to connect them to the right number of ladybugs that are on the right, on the right leaf. And this is just, just driving home those very simple math concepts, those one, two, three concepts. When I am doing this type of lesson with my daughter, I am sitting there with her and if she gets stuck on her counting, if she's struggling a little bit, I count with her. This is something I love to do together with her. Another cool thing about the Evan Moore books is that these pages are perforated, so you can pop these out. If you finish a page, you can keep them in. It's all up to you. Moving on, here we are. We're trying to circle the right number of ladybugs. Um, you circle, you, you have them count the ladybugs, and then you circle that, that number. Here we are doing a, a counting in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My daughter decided to actually connect the ladybugs to the numbers, <laughs> so she was having a little bit of fun. And that is something that you want to do with these type of books, especially with these early learners. Let them explore, let them doodle, let them make mistakes, let them do these types of things with these workbooks because you want them to have fun while they're working on these things. So if we continue on, I think we'll actually get a good example of here. A lot of these Evan Moore books, especially these early ones, let you cut out pages. So here we have a, a page where we have cut out a bunch of ladybugs and she has to put that number of ladybugs and glue that into, into that jar based on the number that was given. Really little fun kind of, you know, teaching those motor skills that are, that are necessary, teaching the number skills and also having fun, you know, being able to, you know, just glue things to, to pages is always fun. The one thing we're never allowed to do is cut and glue pages is <laughs> we give them the, the power to do that. Here we see a little bit of a geometry work. So they're having to color certain shapes here. They're, they're learning about what is half and what is not. Um, moving on here, we, we're having, uh, we're actually tracing letters. We're actually bringing in some letter and handwriting. She's writing numbers here. You can see sometimes she gets the numbers wrong. Hey, that number's backwards, that's okay. She's writing number five here, writes the number five here. That was incorrect, it should have been six, but that's okay. We're just learning and bringing that confidence in those math, math things. And you can also see she got a little bit of, she had a little bit of fun on this page as well. So totally normal to have, and you can see here we're back to it. When, when I'm doing these types of lessons with my daughter, um, my daughter loves these, these workbooks. So she will go and do 10 pages at a time. And you know, that could be 30, 30 minutes. And she's got a lot of patience for her age. You may find that your learner has maybe just enough to do one or two pages in, in them. And that is absolutely fine. Don't be overstressed that you've got to do seven or eight pages in a sitting. Don't worry about that at all. Go with the pace with your learner. That is something that I have learned a lot in all my years of homeschooling, is just follow your learner. And for my learner, she loves to do lots and lots of pages. It really is invigorating for her and she feels the sense of accomplishment. Uh, moving on, you can see how we're getting into funny frogs. Very similar here. So again, we have more cutout pages and you can see we cut out the frogs and we had to match it to the number of frogs that would fit that log. So here we are doing measurement by cutting things out, 
putting them up as if you're using like a ruler and, and moving forward. You're doing numbers over here. So it's just a wonderful book and you can see every single activity as we, maybe if I can flip through it quickly, has a different thing and there's, there's all these different types of pages and different activities and almost every page is something new and that's something I love, absolutely love, love, love about Evan Moore books. They have just this vibrancy to them. Um, not, everything is new and there's, there's nev never anything duplicated and I think that's a wonderful thing. So I hope that look inside the Evan Moore book is helpful to you. Um, for me, the benefits are incredible with just the amount of content. Um, the, the vibrancy of the drawings, the ability to play and have fun and cut and glue, especially for these early years books, these pre-K, K-level books, I think is just so valuable for such a young child, um, getting that feeling of I'm learning with fun. And that's really, I think, something that I love about these Evan Moore books, why we have done so many of them with our children. And that's why it gets our recommendation. For me, this is perfect for a family on the go. Like if you're going to a co-op or if you're going to, like for us, we do a parent partnership. If you're on the road a lot, gotta go to swim class. Okay, let's bring some workbooks. These are great little books to be able to slip right into your backpack, right into your big purse, whatever it might be. And you can get a little bit of learning on the road, on the go. Again, you can put these in morning baskets, whatever you feel, this is such, a, such an easy win for your homeschool, especially for those young learners. So I hope this helps you in your homeschool.